I've learned something new today. Dang! Yo! What? Okay, so I actually went through the story for this part and this part, but my files got corrupted. Luckily, I didn't beat this stage yet, um, because I only did practice mode on because I kept struggling with it. But to recap everything that went down, Black Steel came around, Benny's leaving. Um, it's like chaos over in Downs, was it Downsville? Downstown? I always forget the name of this place. Jessica finally gave um, Bro the bullet. Okay, let's see if, if my strategy that I initially had for this will work. Okay, the goal is to bring up some deployment points for everyone else down the line. We'll probably speed this up too. Great, 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 great. Bring in that damage. Let me throw you in. I'll take you out. Give you that little bit of range right there for midnight. Yeah, going up. Some down things. Oh man, yeah, this is this is awesome. We're doing well. We, we got this. We got this. Oh, yeah, this dude's walking by. He's walking by. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Ah! It's this one dude. He just does not want to go down. Maybe later on I could switch um, you with um, maybe like Milatha or someone. Like another um, guard. Anyways, yo, pretty solid. Okay. Why is someone still out this late? Oh yeah, Jessica was gonna go run to the bank and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pay pay off everyone's bill. I'm like, dang, that's a lot of money you're throwing. I mean, I know you come from a rich family, but geez. All these other people. Oh. Here we go. I'm serious. If you need someone to pay off their debts, then I'll pay it off for them. At least enough to let them stay through winter. Send them to the frontier now is no different from a death sentence. I know, that's messed up. That's jacked that's that's jacked up. I'm the daughter of Bernie Brian Brinley, the CEO and largest shareholder of Raytheon Industries. Jessica freezes on the spot as soon as she finishes speaking. Ever since she joined Blackster, she has never once relied on her father or her family to handle any setbacks she's faced. Yeah. This is her one unwavering insistence. She did not want any special treatment because of her family name. But she had just unleashed the name of her father as well as one as the one that sits on their family crest. This isn't a good idea. Oh! 276 million Kurtz! 28,450,000 gold certificates. Golly! A small price for three months of piece of stability on the plate? No? Dang, what are you about to do, Jess? What are you gonna do? I don't think this is a good idea either. At a loss for words, Miss Brindley. I, I don't have that much on hand right now, but, but I can make the arrangements. So even a trust fund hires can't withdraw that much money on in one go. I've learned something new today. Oh my gosh, can this scene be done with? Only because I don't want to see this lady on screen. So now what? Secretary, so are you here there? Oh yeah, we're talking about we're Clip Cliff. Look at this dude. We use time in the Revolutionary War, but it's even less time, less about the people in that photo. But back then, it was our boss who made the choice to let Woody and the other man getting captured by the enemy and locked up in Camp Collis. Internment camp? I'm talking torture. Yikes. So who left who there? Cliff left Woodrow there or did Woodrow leave Cliff there? So that was Woody who got left behind. Cliff left Woody? Yeah, they ain't friends. You I devised that rescue plan, sent me sent me a decoy, and then you didn't even rescue him. Sent me as a decoy. Oh! Wow, so th this is, yeah, this is, what? Oh, snap, we meet again. So what do I call you now? I heard you go by a different name. 
Anything's fine. I was just expecting you sooner, Woody. After what happened last night, I had so many things on my plate and so many friends to help out. If you need any help, you can always let me know. Be it cash or manpower. Nah, now you were the one to help me, huh? Got a few choice words for you, Cliff. Thanks, Cliff, but no thanks. Help is is only help when it's on time. But coming from you, it's always overdue. Ha! Exactly. It's not as simple as old friends between us. What made you think we'd be acting like friends when we saw each other again? You look at me. Oh, he was smiling. <laughs> yeah, smile went away. I'm not playing like we're friends, all right? I'll put it bluntly for you. I buried him on the hillside behind the POW, PO, yeah, POW camp. Have you ever visited him? Haven't found the time. Make time. What happened? Yeah, all of them like, dang, are you good? I, I really have no idea why we're doing. Yeah, what? What was the purpose in the end of the day? Did you see something? I saw our colleagues in evicting depth saddled residents from their homes and putting them on convoys bound for the frontier. Huh? Yup. And I have news even more absurd than that. Oh boy. What's this? Orders from above. We'll be in charge of security at the bank. We have to stand watch 24 7 and substance figure out our shift rotation? That's this is messed up. Okay, one more for the road. One more. Why not? Um, Elite 1 level 50. Oh boy. Let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. Now we're guarding the bank of all places, man. Word bank plan. Most of them have already signed the pioneering agreement. So what are they all doing gathering out there? What are you worried about? Those aren't toys. The Black Steel people are holding, you know. Most of you already signed the pioneering contract and will be leaving the next convoy. As for what we want, there's nothing left. We're sick and tired of these stupid games and we're not going to do it anymore. Ooh, they've had enough. She actually walked outside. I'm loath to remind you that of this fact, but you voluntarily signed. Shut up! Mr. Liskarm, please have these people evacuated within 10 minutes. Make it quick. Jessica, find a way to call up Mr. Cliff. Hurry. On it. No good. I can't get through at all. Sorry, Captain. I need to tell him what's happening here face to face. Then hurry. Fetch the authorization, author, authorization agreement. The one sent by the state government that allows us to mobilize private armed forces in case of... Wow, this bank manager is on a power trip with this. Like, but hurry it up. Don't just sit there gawking. If you insist on neglecting your duties, then I can only regretfully inform you that your team is now under my direct command. Who the heck do you think you are? The agreement to reclaim this plate was jointly signed by the local government, the bank, and Black Steel. There are clauses within it stating that Black Steel personnel must obey our commands and mobilize in case of extraordinary circumstances. This is authorization letters sent at the time of the signing. Please take a look. This lady, it's like, it's like, it's like it never ends. It never ends with this lady. She, she like, it's like, how, how much, how, how more terrible can you get? Do you, you do not have the authority to override our actions, ma'am. No, it sits right here in the, in, oh, I do have that authority. Now, Miss Liskarm, do it. Apologies, but I'll have to kindly refuse. Oh, Liskarm has enough. What are you refusing is not a minor request from a small bank, but a direct order from the government. She's saying, I am the government. <laughs> I am the Senate. Like, chill out, lady. Do not make me repeat myself. We're the ones who starve. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, singing. Yeah, ma'am. It makes no difference how many times you say it. I'm not going to open fire. Let me say this again. I will not open fire, nor will I allow any of my squad members to do so. My serious condolences if your fragile heart is wounded by their, yeah, by this, by their singing. After our parting is such a sweet sorrow, isn't that right? Listen up, everybody. Nobody is allowed to move without my direct order. Now turn around, ma'am. This is what it truly means to sing. So sit back and enjoy the show. Ooh, <laughs> Franca said, I got my two cents too. <laughs> Hand on hip. Frank was not having that. <laughs> Now listen up, man. You better open your ears to this singing. <laughs> the Night of the Hunter. Oh, man. I'm not ready for this, man. Oh, see, I... Oh, oh, no. I gotta bring in some people for this. I think I, I, think I could put you right here. You These guys won't shoot, right? You won't open fire? You ruined everything, man. Yeah, I should have kept you back here. <laughs> Whatever it is, what it is. Okay, but we do need to get rid of these guys. They, they are a problem. Uh. 
Who went down? Who went down? They okay, the guys with the guns are dangerous. Okay. Lethal. <gasps> Who else went down? Why is everyone dying? Yeah, that's this isn't the way. This isn't the way. Keep it more fortified, maybe. Can you, we, don't say anything, man. Don't just don't say anything. Just see. This is why I freaking don't like him. This is why. This is why I don't like this dude. He ticks me off. He didn't have to say anything. Eleven minutes later. I think in that case, okay, I definitely gonna bring his support unit. I know exactly where I want to bring to. Okay, we know this is gonna work. We know this is gonna work. I just, I just want to bring. I know who I want to bring him to. There we go. That's why I, need. I just need to have a good shield right there. And why not bring in Jess? <laughs> Who likes this? The penguin? The bank is trying to leverage their deal with the government to make us open fire on civilian crowd. And did you do it? I can't say what happened after I left, but no. There's no way we'd obey that order. All right, I understand. You can leave now. What are we going to do about the residents? It's none of your business and it's none of mine either. Then what is your business? The massive kickback you're getting from the bank? The ex extra judicial privileges that the military grants you? Or is it the feeling that you get to trample people beneath your feet? Yo, Jessica over here, yo, challenging him. What do you get from surrounding yourself with these people? How can I not have suspicions? The way I see it, you've thrown away almost all your humanity. And for what? Humanity? This word that means less and less to me as I get older. Black Seal is a PMC and I'm the boss. What do I need pretty wards for? To put it another way, Jessica, if those are things you value much, what are you doing here? I, and I know you're not short on cash either, so I ask you again, Jessica, what are you even doing here? Ambition, for the sake of my own ambition, prove that I'm no less than my brothers and sisters, prove that I am not a, a mediocre stain on my family. That's why I'm here. Not bad. I like seeing that clarity and self-awareness. Hey! So don't stand there and criticize the way I conduct my business. Your father is also an excellent businessman and his daughter. You do well to learn from him. You need to be more mature, more rational, less emotional. Sec Secretary, escort her out. From now on, never let her in again, no matter what. Decades ago, you sat back and watched your friends get taken captive. Oh! Oh, decades later, you're doing the same thing as people are being driven out of their from their homes. If that's what you call a mature, rational, and level-headed choice, then I'd rather stay naive my entire life than I'd rather remain a mediocre fool. <laughs> Dang! Please leave, Miss Brindley. Don't touch me. I can leave on my own. Woo! What's Cliff about to do? He's bad. Your subordinates gave my people an order to open fire at the entrance of the bank. Without asking, without permission. And why is that a problem? We have an authorization from the government and you provided us the team. Uh, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. This is very bad news, but not for me, for you. Sh surely you jest. Nobody can go over my head and command my troops. If you really want us to coexist in harmony going forward, you would best remember those words. Yo! You see, my focus has been up to 26. Let's see who we're gonna get. <laughs> Ooh, this is looking good. This is looking good. Already off rip. This is looking great. Ooh, I see some nice stuff. Who are you? <laughs> who is this? Thank you for what you did. Can't a beal? I don't know who you are, but hey, welcome, welcome. Okay, got some new, new people. Okay, I like that, I like that. I like that. 
I always get Beanstalk. Beanstalk, I always... Okay, who's it? Someone I already have. Orchid? Oh, I actually want that. Because I've been wanting to raise up Orchid's potential. I think I only need one more to it. That one be the one. Who's this? Right. Yo. Ooh! Okay. Who's this? Bloom! Mouse! Okay, Mouse, what's up? I'm not going to say anything. This is what, my fifth time doing the fourth, fifth time doing this? Now we're here, which... Elite 2, level 10. I've never played a stage this difficult before. Actually, have I? And the Granny and Knights event game. What was, the, what was the level of that last stage that I never beat? Elite 20, oh, so this was more difficult, and I didn't do too bad with this. I could have almost done it. Let's try this out. I'm definitely gonna, not going to beat this on my first try, I think. Who is it? Oh, Woodrow. Or is it Helena? Who is this? I was about to go down. Stop drinking already, Leon. Wait, you're sober? As sober as I ever am. And Sophia, what is she doing here? She insisted on waiting for you two to get back so she could have a chat with all of us. Okay, Sophia got something to say. Okay, Sophia, yeah, do your thing. I, I know of some money of the bank. Of course there's money in the bank. <laughs> to meet the demand of their deposits and loans, there is a lot more cash in the bank than usual. Maybe enough to let a large group of people start a new life in the frontier. See, I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just letting you know what's going on, you know. Leon, you in or not? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Say something. Leon, go. With, go long. No. I, I know this money should be ours, but I don't want to be a criminal scum like those bandits. Oh. Okay. That's where you're coming from. But, I mean, the bank is kind of criminal, so, I mean, a negative times a negative equals a positive, so. <laughs> really think the bandits were the biggest crooks in Davis? That's exactly what I'm saying. Now I need to know where you two stand. <laughs> yeah, he got the wrench. <laughs> Your move, Woody. Who's there? Jessica, where, where are you? Why now of all times? <laughs> Jessica gonna join in, in robbing this bank? <laughs> Woodrow, why are you pointing your gun at me? Forget everything you just heard and scram. Why? What's the meaning of this? We have to get to the bank. Sylvia. And take back what belongs to Davis Town. Take back? Go, Jessica. Go back to your friend. <laughs> you know, Woodrow's like, go away. Don't get involved. Do not hear this. <laughs> Woodrow, you came here for the for a shoulder to cry out, and we offered you a hot drink and a pat on the shoulder. No more, no less. You're still young. Every day your life is a new beginning. I'm serious. Approach the Sophie and draws her own gun from her waist before placing it on the table in front of her. Ooh, it's going down. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I forget. This is... Oh no. Oh no. My... Oh man, my stomach. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting so nervous right now, everyone. Holy crap. What am I supposed to do? Oh, you're walking away. Oh yeah, they're going to get damaged a bit. That kind of helps. See, like, just like that, you about to be taken out. You hear to slow them down is a good idea. Do something like that. We got halfway. <laughs> we got halfway. That that's good at least. I take that as a win. <laughs>
That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Come on, we can almost take him out. Come on, we can almost take him out. Yes! <gasps> no, no, no! No, no! Do something. Do, something. Do this. Heal. Oh my gosh. No way. They're gonna get by. Oh, it's only three. Not like this, man. Gosh, man. In fact, I almost be with no support, man. I'm kind of proud of myself for that. Almost. Almost did it with no support. But I was like, dang, maybe. What if I brought in, uh, what's her face? Uh, Deep Color? Not Deep Color. What's that name? Deep Color? Her special move thing could also go, go out of screen, too. So, Or you, she has, like, an item that goes off screen, too. So I'm, like, wondering. Maybe that would work, too. I don't know. Anyways, Jessica over here about to rob the bank with everyone. What's about to go down, man? I'm here to say goodbye. Oh, it's like that, that. And how long will you be gone? I don't know. Maybe a week, maybe a year. Did you hit your head? Did you really expect to grant? It was going like, hey, come on now. <laughs> Nevertheless, I have to reject Jessica Rinley's request for a temporary discharge from the team. I see. Now I have to resign, Jessica. And Scarm, Captain. <laughs> Even the slickest, most experienced veterans who don't give two craps about their job wouldn't throw away the word resign so casually as you do. But I also have to imagine that maybe what I'm seeing here is a Jessica who's finally cast aside her fears and self-doubt. One who's truly found himself. I subject to your decision vehemently, but if you've made up your mind, this is like so this ain't just like this was this a story side story of so she actually leaves black steel in this this is sad dang <laughs> what the heck just like that well what a group we got here jessica the ex-mercenary now leon the uh, the um mechanic woodrow the old war veteran and helena the um jack of all trades it seems like <laughs> Hey, this is a robbery. <laughs> Hands off the alarm. Uh, this is a robbery. <laughs> as long as y'all cooperate, nobody's gonna hurt or dying tonight. You complacent idiots put all your eggs into mine. Yet none of this, he really is the penguin, man. Three. Nobody gives a dang about you rotten minerals. It's an era of high tech and automation now. You're only, he's really talking so much smack. You know what, at this point, let's shoot him and blow up the wall. You filthy, uneducated hicks. You idiots don't even have a dang clue what numbers mean. Serves you right for getting tricked. One. <laughs> I was like, dang, the, the bank president, you really draw that out, man. Mr. Thurman, what would you even do with the money? Do you seriously? She's really... At this point, man, at this point, come on. Come on, y'all. After this, just... This, it only takes one. <laughs> it only takes one. <laughs> I know, that's violent. Exactly, I'm with Leon. I'm tired of this lady. She's the worst of it all. Leon Theremin, 
here could have left his this place long. Yo, she's really they were really letting her run her mouth like this? What kind of blasting engineer wouldn't be able to earn enough to put food on the table? How else would he have ended up like if not for his greed? You Leon, she's right. The door is open. Yo, Leon is ready. <laughs> He's like, I'm about to use this wrench I got. <laughs> Let's see this money, man. Woo! Let's go, man. We have the last thing. Was this the boss battle, right? Oh, man. Doberman's always solid. Let's go. Let's see how many times this will take me. I was looking back on CV7 on my recording. I was like, hey, how long was I playing this stage for? I was like, an hour? I didn't think I was playing that stage that long. I thought it was like half an hour at least. Jeez. Okay. Hold on for 10 more minutes. Black Series Convoy. convoy. Oh, yeah. They stole money from the bank. I'll stay behind. Y'all go on ahead. How much time can you buy us? How much time do you need? <laughs> at least half an hour. Woodrow draws his revolver from his holster and counts the bullets. An hour, maybe? You need time to set explosives, too. More than enough. The team stationed at the play has requested backup. They say a gang of robbers have blown open the bank's vault door open and stolen all the reserve funds inside. There are four of them, and they've been identified. It's Mr. Bianchi and his friends, as well as... As well as who? Woo! As well as Miss Brindley. Huh? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> have you heard the news? Jessica, we have to do something. Woo! Front gun, lift gun, are they going to come through? By the way, it's a race against time. Hey, she said, hey, would you rather be someone else or us? I'm kind with that, lift gun. Hey, I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh, they, oh, they cut the music off. I was like, oh, what's about to go down? Twitchy Blasphemous, we still haven't broken through their defenses. Not a single car can get close to the Central Avenue. How many robbers are there out there on the street? Just one! A Sancta! <laughs> Is the backup here yet? Not yet. Yo, this is Woodrow, man! The normal old man. Hey, he ain't no normal old man. Faster, I have to hurry. Leon sets explosives on the wall and lifts his head to wipe all the sweat that's gathered on his bro, bro. But the heat immediately causes his skin to sweat even more. Hurry. His lips start clapping. His saliva no longer serves as to moisture in his throat and mouth. Ugh. Who's this? Come with me, Leon. We'll head to the frontier. That's where our whole new home is. Miles, don't go. Where are you going? Another stick of diamond is set on the wall. Miles turns towards the furnace, and a small shadow emerges. Oh, he's seeing things. I was like, wait, Miles came back? No way. <laughs> I'm planning to leave the. Oh, man. Yeah, he's seeing everything. This dude, this dude, uh, Leon going through. Another stick of diamond on the wall. The fire on goes Benny. It's just into a tall young man. That has to be Carl now. Good news, Dad. There's a mercenary company that thinks I'm pretty good. They say I'm good fit for the gig. I'll be leaving in a few days. Don't go. I won't let you. You'll die in the battlefield, Carl. Man, this dude, Leon, is... It's sad. The final stick of dynamite is set up on the wall. Woman emerges from the fireball. No longer, he no longer remembers what she looked like, but he never once forgot her voice. Mom? Wow. Leon, how are things going on your end? The explosives are all in the place. Once they're set off, the plane will explode in no time. Then after the energy tower comes crashing down, no one will ever find that passage again. When are you leaving? I've lured the nearby mercenaries away, so I'm on my way there to pick you up. No, don't come. Uh, I, I, oh, I don't know, I know. I already know. I already know. Don't do anything stupid. I'm begging you. Think about Woodrow and Helena. They'll be heartbroken. And Benny, he just started school. He's got a bright future ahead of him. Don't you want to see that kind of man he'll become? That's what I'm saying. It's going to be a bright big bang. Cover yours. Don't be afraid. And don't be sad. My life didn't begin the day I was born. It began the day I got here. In the same way, my death won't be on won't be on the day my life comes to an end. It'll be the day I leave this place. Don't worry, Jessica. I won't die, because I'll be here forever. I'll live forever in her embrace. Dang.
did, did it work? Jessica, what's the situation there? Leon, respond. I'm not getting a signal. Dang it. Helena stops her tracks and considers turning back to look. The underground passage is structure fragile to begin with. Doesn't have to withstand the explosive. Um, yeah, you have to move, even if you want to go back. What's this have underlined? And so in the end, she doesn't turn around. Instead, she keeps running. Yeah. She suddenly throws herself into the hidden tunnel and towards the unknown up ahead. What's the situation at the energy tower? Has Helena entered the underground passage yet? What happened? Leon said he was staying. He said he didn't want to leave. I didn't see him come out. I waited. Maybe I missed him. Dang, yeah, Woodrow. Does Helena know? I, I can't reach her. Are you crying? Am I? I think I am. It's all right. It's all over now. You'll be fine. Let's see. You're from Blacksteel and a Brindley. They won't touch you. Where are you going, Woodrow? Can, can I come look for you? I still got some stuff to take care of. Can't go bring you with me. Will I ever see you again? Maybe, Jessica. Maybe. Maybe this bullet forgive. Maybe this bullet forgive what my heart cannot. It's going down. Oh. They're going to start me right now? No way they hit you with an emotional scene like that and then they say, yeah, 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 now's time. <laughs> yeah, now it's time, time for you to battle. So long, stooge. Ooh, easy. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. What? I'm like afraid but hyped. I don't know what to do first. I don't know what to do first. Because it's like these guys are gonna be a problem. Okay. Hopefully they stay hang out right there for a little while longer. Oh, and you're coming through here too? Who are you? What's gonna be a medic? Oh my gosh. So much I'm gonna need right now. No, I didn't want. Oh, you! Oh, I'm screwing everything up right now. Let's take you out. Let's throw in the homie. Oh, okay. oh, they're moving forward. They're moving forward. Oh, 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 right here too. Oh crap! Yeah, see, my whole plan got screwed up, man. Let's do this. Let me do that. Put you in. Let's do that. We're gonna do Clip Cliff. Oh, legendary mercenary and founder of Blasty Worldwide. Attack and defense are greatly reduced upon taking damage from the waste. Oh, I oh upon taking damage from the vent. Okay. Um, I want to select you. Take you out. I can't bring anyone else in. Let's do this. Have you do your thing. Okay, 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 um, okay, um, um, okay, um. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, um, uh, I don't want to fight that dude now. Ooh, this theme is just so hype, man. It's like. Dun, 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 Come on, get them out the way, get them out the way. Come on, slow them down, slow them down. Perfect, let's go. Woo! Okay, there we go. Oh man, this is not gonna be enough. How much, how much damage does he do? Oh, he does that much damage. Okay, um, is he gonna keep walking this way or? Oh my gosh, yo! Get back up, Jess. You could do it. Don't, don't, don't go down yet. Ooh! Okay, there we go. Oh, 
What else can I do? What else can I do? I need maybe bring. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not doing too bad. Not too bad. Dang! Yo! Cliff, stop, man! Stop it! <laughs> go, go away! So he's gonna like circle around and stuff. What could? Ooh! I think I have an idea. Where's the stairwell go? Where's that gonna? Oh, he's gonna pop up again from there. Okay, we didn't do we didn't do too bad. Yo, we kind of brought his health down a lot in the beginning there. I can only do it as far as there. Yes. Yeah, keep him right there. Keep him right there. Keep him right there. Keep him right there. It was crazy, this is all practice mode. <laughs> I have to do this again. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We are there, we are there. We are right there. Stop it. What? Someone attack him. <laughs> this is this is crazy. No way. No way you could just heal back up. What even just happened? Uh, get out of here! What? Is there a way to beat him? The cuss! How did someone else do this? Because there's no way I could do this with with I I mean with the second round I see one round yeah I, I think I could have done it I think in fact I would have done it if it was that one health thing oh yeah I got it what was that with the little dun, dun, uh bells and whatnot like bro what how did he the see see okay what they did was that was crazy first of all. <laughs> that was that was insane. Um, wow! Wow! That just opened my mind. <laughs> that just opened my mind to like some other possibilities. I'm like, wow. Okay, you know what? You know, honestly, I might just let him buy. <laughs> I might just let him buy at that point. At that point, he, I might just let him. I might just let him by to be honest. I at this point I might as well just let him get by. I can't do anything. I have an idea. I have a dream. <laughs> I have an idea I want to try out. And I think this might be the game changer. Okay. I had an idea and I guess it's not gonna work, never mind. Huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on! No way! How's that even happen now? That's never happened until now. All of a sudden my whole thing does not work. My whole structure is like broken, which makes no freaking sense. And we got this punk right here, man. Stuck in the middle of it all. Come on, let me bring someone in. Take what I'm on. Crap, man. Why not? I want to bring you a bite. I'll hold on. Take this dude out. Take this dude out quickly before before Cliff shows up. Take him out quickly. Cliff is walking, y'all. He's walking over. Take your time, man. Show show run, man. You, you got you got the whole line right here. It's all you. This is lame. I'm actually mad that I'm allowing this. Only reason I'm allowing this is because there's nothing I could do against him with that second round thing. We're gonna need that. Throwing you down here for some range, I think is a good idea too. 
Maybe here, maybe there, maybe everywhere. Let's throw you right here for now, though. One dude, man. Just as one dude. Just as one dude. We just have this one dude. Okay. Come on. Go team, go. Go team, go. Oh my gosh. That's all I cared. We passed. Oh my gosh. I'm mad I let Cliff by though, man. I'm mad about that. I'm happy I made it by so I could see the rest, but... I'll get you later, Cliff. I'll get you later. My, I got a vendetta. I said it. I, I stated it. I declare war. <laughs> I will beat you one day. One day. One day. Hopefully before this event ends. Because, well, in fact, when this event ends, actually, someone can answer this. Will the event be on the side story page now? Or will it? Or will I have to wait a while before it gets put over there? I think I'll be able to put, it'll be put over there. But target's turning left. She's walking pretty slow. Franca, these coordinates, they're just up ahead. Hurry, let's go. We'll wait. The two turn into an alley and stop in their tracks. The girl's lonely back suddenly appeared before them. Jessica. Hearing her name, the girl turns around. When she notices who they are, a hint of joy appears on her face, only to be quickly replaced by a sense of helplessness and panic. Yikes! Oh no, what's the, how is this going to end? C Captain, you two came. Drop your weapon, Miss Brindley. Weapons. This is the end of the road. Look around you. There's nowhere to run. This charade is over. The snowstorm is only going to get stronger. Dang it. I suppose I was supposed to get off work early today to catch up on my beauty sleep. No one cares about your beauty sleep. Jessica, it's been five years. In these five years, have you ever once thought about why I picked you as my assistant? This is Black Steel we're talking about. There are <laughs> this is Black Steel, y'all. <laughs> there are all kinds of amazing people here, but I still chose you. And not because of that gun you're holding, but because of your tears. Only someone who's able to empathize with the pain of others can throw herself into a cause for a group of strangers. A place she barely knows. Mm, true? Yeah, let's call yo. Preach. <laughs> yeah, do whatever. Yeah, do what you want deep in your heart. Captain, I, I really want to cry right now. Then cry. Let your tears flow. No need to hold back. Ooh, his halo is flashing. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> you keep saying that we're never end. Yeah, you, yo, Cliff, you made him want to come here for revenge now. <laughs> now he wants to end your life. The parallels, man, what's about to happen on, on Jessica? Oh, no, we're going to hear. Oh. We look at them both, hands out. His hands in his pocket already. A strong gale lifts up the old man's hat and tosses it into the air. But he neither looks up nor moves to grab it. His eyes, now blinking for even a moment, are fixed on the man standing opposite of him. All his muscles and his cheek to cheek, his head, yeah, yeah, are tense as could be. And above his head, his halo is fla flashing rapidly. He still remembers how, all these years ago in Later Laterano, on the way back to the dorm, the gust of wind blew Woodrow's head. Oh, oh, yo, what's about to happen? <laughs> The girl raises her gun, and through its sight, she sees an array of faces. Someone looks, someone, some look confused, some disapproved, some stunned, some dazed. Some are chuckling, some are lament, lam, lam, lamented. But the faces are not important. They quickly enter the girl's eyes and exit them just as fights, never stopping in her heart for a moment. Instead, a few other faces appear in her mind. The girl who prayed in the tent. The woman who scampered away in the snowfield. The old man who drew his gun in the dark night. <laughs> that dude Cliff is menacing. <laughs> the man who departed in flames. Mm. But my gun will cry for their sorrow. You 
lose. Ooh, sorry, Woody. I chose war. I chose war. Yeah, I chose never-ending war. I can't kill you. This sin is yours to bear. Dang, he said I'm gonna let you live in misery. Killing him would be just too easy. Woodrow sets his gun down on the floor and raises his hands. Behind him, attracted by the sounds of gunfire, a crowd of mercenaries surges into the area with frantic footsteps and moves around him. Okay guys, take me away, I'm ready. The girl holsters her firearms and lifts her hands above her head. Put your hands behind your back. Handcuffs don't feel as cold as I thought they would be. Because I've never because I've been keeping them warm this whole time. Thank you. Can I have a word with you before we go? What do you want to say? I mean, he listened. Yeah, that's nice. It's fine. Before you, there was another guy who jabbered away just as much, if not more. I'm sure he'd be happy that you remembered what he said. Hey, is he talking about uh, Carl? Oh, you knew him too? Ah, uh, that's where it ends? You know, they're probably going to have like an epilogue thing, right? Well, I get one star for this too. Two stars? I'll take two stars. Robbing a bank is a serious crime. It's going to be a tough to win this, isn't it? Depends on what outcome you're hoping for. If you don't mind prison, we can get you the shortest possible sentence in the most comfortable environment. And once you're released, your record will be clean. No one will even remember. We do this all the time. It's nothing difficult. <laughs> Dang. In Colombia, there aren't most criminals sent to the frontier instead of prison. Don't worry, Miss Brindley. With us in the, on the case, things won't nearly go get nearly that dire. No, I'm saying that's what I want. What? I should be out there. I broke the law and that's the price I should pay. And you expect me to tell that to your father? <laughs> He's like, hey, hold up. They hired me. I want to lose my rep reputation now. Like, <laughs> oh man. That's the most difficult thing you could ask of me. No, the most difficult thing would be to try and stop me. Because that's outright impossible. Here. Pretty determined. He's like, hey, I was hired. I guess I guess I gotta do this. <laughs> hey, they met up. Yay, that's nice. Alright, so you're gonna hang out with Woodrow. I like that. He says a stupid choice. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get Woody's hat? Warm play hat is placed on the girl's head. His brim so bright it covers most of her own face. If you want to cry, cry. You've been through so much. It must be tough to bear. After a long silence, a saw can be heard from under the hat. The old man doesn't look down. Instead, he turns his gaze to the far end of the snowfield. The sky beyond the horizon is dyed red by the dawn clouds, and its bright light reflects off the crystal clear snow. The vermilion hue strings his eyes with a sharp pain, and his eyes begin to swell well up. What's this? They can't give me this fire music after that. <laughs> well, that is the end of Calm Catastrophes or Wakes of Vultures. I know the second area part that comes out soon. Overall, this was a solid story, yo. Really great. Um, I remember some people in the comments saying that, yo, stories that are like relatively like RRL stuff, you know, people exploiting others and everything. It's really, it's relatable. Well, I mean, I, like, well, you know, it's IRL stuff that happens too, you know, and like stories that reference real life things, you know, it's, it's really good. It's really well done. I mean, despite, you know, some of the fantasy elements or, or, you know, fictional elements in this, you know, um, story wise, it was really good. Um, seeing Jessica's journey from beginning to end of this, coming to terms with decisions, um, following her heart and what she truly wants to do, taking that step forward. But dang, yo, what a sad ending. You know, I expected, like, so many other things to go down. It's like, dang, is, is, is Jessica about to die in the end of the... I was like, no way they would do that. No way they would do that. Yeah, I will attempt the... T I will attempt that boss battle again one day. I I'll attempt it here and there. I'll record some stuff. And if I hopefully I beat it before that. I'm pretty sure some people hit me with some advice or some um, operators to use. Let me know. 
Um, it's that second round, man. That second round. I was looking at someone's tutorial. I was like, dang, they kind of did it with a searcher. Um, my first time I did this, I probably, probably did pretty well. I'll see what I did when I replay this because, man, what what a sad, sad ending to this. Um, I mean, it it's kind of not what's what's the word I'm looking for. Um, bittersweet. That's the word. It's bittersweet ending to this, man. Yeah, anyways, uh, I'll be back to live stream, hopefully, eventually. Um, I might be live streaming the extra stuff. I'll see what the difficulty is for that. Yeah, I'll see y'all later for some more stuff on the channel. Whenever I have this up. So, see y'all later. Peace and out.